video I've been dying to make. I've been so busy with all the other stuff going on. And now I got the car here at this house. And anyway, so you can tell by the title, cylinder head is coming off. Literally only 10 bolts. And uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited as shit. I want to see how the pistons look. I want to see how all the valves look. And, and well, I'm not going to really see much of the valves, but more so the pistons. And that means this weekend, if I have time, I can pop some of these pistons out. Like I said, three of them are going to be giveaways with shirts, uh, which should be coming real soon. I don't know when this video is coming out exactly, so I'm not going to give dates or anything. But basically, all this is is 10 bolts. I got the book up here. I'll show you right here is the sequence for it. Once you get you know, the timing chains off and all that stuff. Um, this is all it is. So you got your order there. Starting from the side that doesn't have... What side is that? Okay, yeah, that'll be the crank pulley side. So, sweet. And there's the... Put on. If you guys want a link to this book, I'll drop it down in the comments. Just remind me. I'll give you a link for it. But uh, I'm going to hop right to it. It's 10 bolts. Hopefully it's not too stuck to the bottom end here. But uh, we'll find out here very directly. One last look at her before she gets pulled off. Shout out to Clifton again for uh, the tools. Should probably take those off. Probably get that sensor out of there at some point. Anyway, let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm like over here like lollygagging. I want to take this head off, but I'm like so nervous just to see. And like the amount of comments and people were saying with that bad like journal right here. Really don't want to have to get another head or another cam. Um, I haven't talked to like an actual machinist about it yet. I'm like kind of avoiding it. And I don't want to hear the bill. <laughs> I'm just hoping it can get fixed, but I mean, if that, that's probably like I said, it's probably been like that. Like when I tra when this head got trashed, it was like twenty four thousand, and I just pulled the motor at like eighty thousand five hundred. So I'm pretty sure it's been there for a good sixty thousand miles, and it's been just fine. And wait till you guys see my pistons. Been like that for a long time. So I'm gonna keep the video rolling for the breaking the torque on the first one, just to show you guys how hard or easy it is, and then I'll time lapse it, and we'll pull this off. All right, boys, camera's rolling. We're on the first one right here. Let's give it a shot, right? Oh boy, kick the camera. I didn't even, that bad, really. Oh man, I thought it'd be worse. Well, really not that bad at all. Let's see how long this guy is. We got ARP studs to put in here. I cannot wait till that day. That's going to be so much fun. Well, they are quite long. That's expected. All right, let's time lapse it. Well, okay, so this is where uh, this is where we're supposed to lift the head off the block. I have never in my life taken a, taken a cylinder head off a motor before, whereas she, she's, how many you've done? One? A couple. A couple. She's a diesel mechanic. She works on like generators and stuff for airplanes. And she's done a few uh, cylinder head removals and stuff on diesel motors, so. You ready? We're just going to wing it. Try and lift it. I don't know. I don't have a rubber mallet. I'm definitely not going to hit it with my good hammer. So, Let's see how this goes, I guess. You got good spots over there to hold on to. I have like a little lip right here. I can kind of... I mean, you can hold on to wherever. It does. Oh, God. Okay. That was way easier than expected. Holy shit. Dang. All right. Sit on the side. Not 
bad. All my plugs are a little white. Looks like I was running a little lean. Holy crap. The carbon build up on these pistons. Holy shizzle my nizzle. Dang. Where's the markings from? You can't really even see them. There's quite the amount of carbon. Yeah, from the valves. That is wild. Ooh, it's like crusty nasty. It comes off. Wow. Dang. I'll show you guys here in a second. I'm just kind of in awe here. Let's get this gasket off. Alright. Where's the blue paper? Grab. Don't mind the vape smoke. We got the cylinder head off. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, look at these. Yeah, throw that light on. Look at that. That has to just be carbon build up, right? Like that is ass. Like I could like, I can't scrape it off on this one really. But like, wow. Look how much build up is down in there? I'm assuming it's just like this cylinder is probably the best one. And the walls are like squeaky clean. Walls look great. Look at that. Like if you can, if I can focus down, bring it light a little bit. Yeah, right there. So I'm gonna try and zoom in for you guys. You can't really see. Oh, uh, see, it's gonna get stupid. I don't know, but on the edges there, there's like the carbon buildup is like sticking up. It looks like almost like ash. Like it looks well like ass. <laughs> there, dang. But uh, and then here's the last one. This one you can actually like kind of like scrape some of the. You can like scrape scratch this buildup off of it. I guess. That is crazy. Hmm. Huh. Get down here in these ports. Hmm. Huh. Very neat. Very, very neat to see. This is so freaking cool. Like, like, I can't, I guess nothing really goes back there at all. I'd like to know, like, which ones are for oil, which ones are for coolant. I'm assuming coolant is the bigger ones. And then the oil would be, I don't know. I have no idea. It's just very neat. Now you guys were lying. These cylinder walls all are pretty thin. I mean, half a mil ain't much. But I guess it's what they call a semi-closed deck. Right? Hmm. There you go. Ass-looking pistons. Let's go to the cylinder head here. One thing I forgot I want to go over here. Hold on, light again, please. We can get her to focus here. There we go. You can kind of see right there and right there where my valves hit the pistons once upon a time. I thought that they would be a lot deeper, but it ain't. I mean, I'm sure carbon's gotten in there and made it look less deep than what it is. This one, you can't even see them. That one, you can a little bit. Over there, like right in front of my nail. There, and this one you can't really see it at all. Maybe this one didn't really get hit. I can see a little bit right there. But yeah, okay. Off to the head. All right, ladies and gents. I present to you my cylinder head. Um, so the big ones, the big ports, this is the intakes, intake valves, exhaust valves. So looking at this very first one, I don't like the way that looks. It looks like it's like delaminating almost. Like, like I work with carbon fiber, pretty much full carbon fiber airplanes. Like the whole body and the, just like the wings, everything is all carbon fiber. And I see like stuff like this where it starts to delaminate. Um, not exactly like this, but pretty similar. I'd like to see that. I mean, I'm assuming it's just a lot of heat got to it, running a little lean at one point or another. 
Or maybe it's supposed to be like that because they're made out of some neat stuff. And it's looking like I'm just going to order a set of valves. Might as well. There's 80,000 on the motor. Might as well replace things that look sketchy while we're in here. Um, but as for the exhaust valves, they all look about the same. This one you can kind of see. Like obviously my fingers are dirty, but that has like a little divot in the center. I guess they all kind of do. This one's a little worse. This one's not too bad. Plenty of carbon built up around. The light doesn't do it, you can see the texture there. And this is uh, where your direct injectors bring in their fuel. Right there. This is very neat. Very, very cool stuff. Um, yeah. Talking to my buddy Michael with the Evo again, and he's showing me his other 4G63 block and the differences and stuff. Very neat to see how, I mean, obviously it's JDM versus, you know, European stuff, but the way things change over the years and technology and all that, it's very cool to kind of compare. This is just really neat. Can't wait to see this thing all cleaned up, ready to install. Hopefully within a month's time or whatever, but dang. Pretty neat, what do you think? Uh, I don't think I have anything else for this video. It's a random Monday night and I'm ready to kick back on the couch, take a shower. I am just found some extra time tonight. I've been busy putting up lights and shit, so figured we keep the ball rolling. But uh, yeah. Dang, this is cool. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I pretty much confirmed that all that stuff on the pistons is just carbon buildup. Nothing really to worry about there, even though it's it's quite a bit. I'm glad I did not decide to go ahead because that engine build kit came in over the weekend and, or Monday or no, when did it come? It came Saturday, I think. Anyway, so at that point, like before taking this head off, I could have just you know slapped everything back together with all the new gaskets and everything and call it a day but after seeing these valves and seeing the pistons I like so very glad I did not decide to do that um, another option is is to just sell those 83 mil pistons go with the 82 and a half that are just drop in and I don't have to go to a machine shop at all for the bottom end send it I can just buy a build head from a company send this one as a core charge and probably avoid a bunch of hassle but we're gonna send it we're gonna send it right we might as well just keep doing what we're doing Unless I find like a really sweet deal or something, but and then again, I don't really trust buying a used built cylinder head off somebody or anything like that. I don't know. It sounds sketchy to me. Anyway, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Um, this is a little way easier than I thought that that head was going to give us a little, way more of a struggle. I probably didn't even need a second person to hold the stand or help me lift it, but I'm glad I did. It was a nice little. Little hour of wrench in here. Oh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the flip up.